Yeah, you like that? What? Oh yeah, you, you like, like that? that? What? Don't, what? Don't quit that shit, man. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, oh, don't quit. Fucking. Will you sh sh quit that? Stuff? All right, all right, all right. Come on. I'll, I'll, I'll quit. I'll quit. Play fair. Don't be a dick. Tuesday, October 2nd, and this is episode 61 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where we're still a bit groggy from staying up too late. Ooh, I had to be Halo uh, 3 on Legendary, man. Yeah! <sighs> Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah. anyway, I'm Thomas yes. Desire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. This week we're talking about Halo 3, Jackass the Movie, Hellgate London, My Sims, and Ninja Bread Man. No, don't say the name! What, Ninja Bread Man? Oh, God, that game shat upon my very soul. <laughs> well, we'll talk more about that later. So, new releases include Enemy Territories Quake Wars, Crash of the Titans, Project Gotham Racing 4, and uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. That's gonna be nice. Yes. As always, we'll finish up with our side news, culture and community sections but let's get started with a big surprise a hit that surprised everyone Halo 3 oh yeah that's the sleeper of the summer that's right it was a total underdog yeah. this year wasn't it got a root for the underdog absolutely but uh, I think we need to get started oh. with some what oh let's, let's kick hello, it hello hello uh, oh, 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 oh no. come on oh you can oh, shake it out oh, shake it out oh, 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 oh god that's so oh, that's oh, obscene oh we've got oh, oh man oh. dude what about me wait oh Oh, Look there is that. an infinite supply of wine in nice. NoobTube world. <laughs> in, in our dreams. In the planet of NoobTube, That's there's right. wine aplenty. Nice. Cabernet, we haven't had that in a while. I'm going to have a little bit of a mix. <laughs> <laughs> you can just... <laughs> Dude, Merlot. Is it Merlot? Yeah, Merlot and Cabernet do not. Mm -hmm. it's, no. a, it's a Cabot. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a Merlot. You call it a suicide, I think. Yeah, it's a suicide. All right. Halo. Halo. Woo. Ooh. Bungie. Ghetto. I cannot believe you just did that, dude. That is oh, just... Oh, it's even, delicious. Even if it's box wine? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> that's just wrong. Mm. Um, all right, man. It's so like Coke um, and Mountain Dew. That's not bad. No, it's not. Actually. Tell uh, you. Diet Mountain Dew, especially. Oh. <clears throat> but Halo 3, man, this is like the biggest hit. We've Everybody's been waiting for this game. I'm not sure if I've been excited. It's like all the other Halo heads. Yeah. But um, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, you got an opening day, just like me. I got to say, I really, now that we're talking, I wish that I'd taken a picture of my friends list. Oh, Jesus getting, Christ. Getting the game... You know, I mean, we talked oh, about this last Tuesday, week right? a little bit. Like, yeah. when, I, when I came home from work early, <clears throat> didn't go to work. Yeah. <laughs> you hop online, and it's just, that's it. All yeah. the way down. Friends list. All the way down. And, and that continued for days. It was at like, least. I would hop on at it's midnight. Still, today, today. If you go there today, right now, you can see everybody that's playing Halo 3. Yeah. And it's like, when I come on, I was just like, I wanted to, like, check out some demos. They're like, hey, game invite, game invite. I'm like, yeah. uh, all right, fine. And it was awesome, because we did the four-player. Did we talk about that all last week? No, no, no. We, we, tried, we tried not to talk about it. So yes, now correct. We're, it's on. So after the recorder, we recorded the episode. At midnight, I freaking got home. Yeah. <laughs> got home at midnight, and I'm like, all right. I, I bought a burrito on the way home, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to eat my burrito. I'm just going to read the manual <laughs> for a little bit. And I get a fucking call from Tobin saying... Dude, we're playing co-op, legendary, right now. Right now. Right now. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> So, dude, you know what I did? I spent the, the first... 40 minutes playing, playing going, following you guys, yeah. finding a little corner, and then eating. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's so sad. You know, it's always like, like, dude, you get your back to the wall, you're like, <laughs> and basically, at some point, I got to a point where, like, every time I died, I rewarded myself with another bite. You know? <laughs> It was awesome. Yeah, so we jacked so, um, it up. We jacked it up to legendary. Legendary. Um, and we're like, it's on dude, like what, Donkey Kong. What did we do? We went from what level to what level? We well, we beat it. I mean, like, we, like started, we started like, like chapter the second, four yeah, yeah, second, the third, third, third or fourth level, and then we went all the way through the game um, um, to like five a.m. till five a.m. We beat it on legendary. Oh, uh, Jesus. Who was, who was in that crew? Uh, that was Crytek um, and Crydic. E E S E S yeah. E S. I think that's right. Uh, that was awesome. The next day, I was playing with some Sunflower action. We played some other. Yeah, we played some other people. Uh, you play Misery? Well, that was before. Misery, Misery yeah, yeah. was in there. So we got we got a whole bunch of noob tubers in oh, there, which yeah. was very very cool. Did you do any of the uh, multiplayer? Uh, no, I did not. So <laughs> I, I so I think it was the next day after that, like yeah. Wednesday or Thursday. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go play some multiplayer. Yeah. And my God, I, we got it. We got like about ten or twelve noob tubers Ooh. as a party. And we'd go and we were like, you know, playing. It was lots of fun. But um, some of our noob tuber fans out there are too good. Oh. Uh. Uh, we'll talk about one of you guys later. But I, I mean, Veritas fucking killed me like eight or nine times. No and I was kidding. Just like, oh, it was so depressing. So but, so what was it like? What was the multiplayer like? Um, How are you? It was it was interesting because I've never really played Halo, uh, Halo multiplayer that much. Uh -huh. I played Halo 2, and I'm like, eh, not really my thing, but 
you get these like different modes. So you would like start the game and it's like a playlist. It's kind of weird. You say, okay, for this map you play on this mode. Okay. And it's it seems to be random. I mean, okay. you can choose, right? Yeah. But like you're saying, okay, you're gonna play on um, I don't know, Sand Trap on Team Slayer. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. Then you get to play VIP on this one. Then you can play another one with just sniper rifles. Oh, that's kind of fun. But then what's hilarious is that you know when you have like about 16 people on your uh, that you're playing with. Yeah. Inevitably, four or five people are like, "Fuck this map, man! So veto, veto, veto!" And you have to get more than half of the people to veto it to, to uh, not play that mode. So, and then so you get like people, every level, they're whining exactly. about vetoing, and, and you get people bitching, just like, yeah. "Oh, I hate this!" And like, yeah. you, know, some, you know, there's favorites, right? Mm, so um, there's that. And the other thing I want to mention definitely is there are. It, it, remember how you were saying that Xbox was a dick magnet? Yes. Halo is like the super ferrite <laughs> ultra magnet <laughs> game on the Xbox nice. that attracts dicks. There's like this. Black uh, Hole in the universe that yeah. dicks are attracted but to. Even across Xbox Live, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, just like right the there. One. That's the concentration. Because we played, what was it, like Lost Planet? We played a bunch of these other yeah. games, and people were not to the extreme of being a dick. People in Lost Planet were actually not that bad. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. This one is just like I got my called my mother. Like my mother was a whore. <laughs> um, I got called. And this various... wasn't in like good fun. This was kind of like. Oh no! It was totally serious. Okay. You know wow. what I mean? Yeah. Well, no, occasionally a noobtuber would say, "Oh, fuck you!" You know, yeah, I got yeah, you. But yeah. it was like, yeah, "It's okay." But the other one was like, "They were mean." Yeah, You're like, no, I'm seriously, like, I'm going to fuck your mom. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I like my mom. <laughs> we should do a PSA about not being we a should. pussy. All we right. should. Uh, but anyhow, so yeah, so I play a lot of multiplayer, but you know, what, what did you think of the, the overall gameplay? Because I want to get into that a bit. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I, I mean, really? it's... Like, because it was a first-person shooter. It was. It was a first-person shooter. Um, the, the, I would say that, that after coming off of Metroid... Mm. I missed the lock on. Oh, so it's like but there is some so there's auto aim a little bit, a little bit. A little but bit. I mean, it's just like in Metroid, I was just like I was locking on and you know like Dude, chasing you know people. Easy Halo. Would well, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like and then I, you know, but uh, I, I I thought the gameplay was pretty cool. It's like training wheels. Like you need this little option for Tobin on Halo saying, please add auto lock. I also I also want an invulnerability oh, shield. Of course, and you can turn on. Yeah, that would be awesome. I want a death button for other people. <laughs> But I gotta say, the fucking band hammer oh, is the, the most glorious is, weapon oh, in the whole world. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I love. Well, I people love would just be one. like, they were, we were playing for a while where people were like fucking each other up to get at the hammer. I you know. know? It's, like, it's just like I've been running too. I'm like, get knife from a yeah. freaking blade. I'm like, what the fuck? And this is on like co-op. <laughs> it's like yeah. we did. We did. Well, see, I think you were the one that did it to me a couple of times, actually, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I gotta say, like some of the some of the emergent gameplay with the co-op where people started <laughs> emergent dickness. Actually, yeah, we're just yeah. like someone's just like driving oh. their jeep, like oh, I got a jeep. And he's like put a little sticky grenade oh, on the back. It's like yeah. boom, dude. I was about to do that because you kept on fucking whoring the tanks. Yeah. That one level, I kept going like, and I was there were three tanks on that level. I was the only guy without a tank, and I had to write bitch right. I had a shotgun. I'm like do 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 ping ping, and like you couldn't kill Jack with that little gun, right? And I'm like oh, those tanks have the huge fucking guns. It's like I'm not getting out of that shit. I know. I was trying to like pitch you in the head. I don't know if you're nervous. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, so like the gameplay itself, I mean, it's, it's like first person shooter, standard stuff. Um, yeah. it doesn't feel different at all from the other Halos. Not to me. It felt at pretty all. similar. I mean, they they yeah. say that they pity were, broke. I guess. Yeah. I mean, people were people were noticing like minutia. I was talking to them like, yeah, it's crazy. In Halo Three, you can't dual wield needlers. I'm like, I was um, like, you sound like dudes playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> you're like Dungeons and Dragons Three Point Five. They really nerfed the wizard yeah, class. Yeah, dude, the encumbrance rules. Totally Holy got screwed oh, up. And it's like, like my oh. pally, you know, he can't dual wield the, you know, anti estrogen yeah, knives. And the, and the lay on hands went from three to two. Yeah, they totally like weakened the armor of virginity. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, You're obviously, right. if it's that close. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it's exactly. But I mean, there's this thing that where they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna change anything that that I guess is broken a story with Halo. But yeah. the thing is, like, I never really liked the Halo first person shooter mechanics. It still feels a little floaty to me. Yeah. When I shoot something, I don't feel like I'm hitting something. Yeah, like you know just what I mean? really tearing there into it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of the like the sci-fi like environment where it's yeah. all very. Sterile. Yeah, or I got it with rockets and that was and the band hammer. Yes, the, the, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but but so much like the rifle, not so no, much. You just kind of like brrr, yeah. You know, and I was just like, I mean, granted, we were playing on legendary. But, but legendary man, was fucking easy with four players, dude. Surpri- I was actually very surprised at that. Where it's just, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is it gets to be this this point where you just die and die yeah. and die and die, and you're just like, eh. Yeah, and no biggie. But here's the thing, right? I mean, if you're playing with three or even two people, yeah. I think it gets a lot harder. Yeah, I'm because sure. you have to have one of those people out of combat to be able to spawn in. Yeah. Remember that time we were like, 
Um, is somebody still alive? Yeah. Um, dude, dude, run away. And you like see him like running around finding somebody. He's like, dude, no, yeah, no. You're like, we're all dead. Run away right now. <laughs> yeah, and then you know he dies, and then we spent the next 30 minutes going back to the thing in real life. Well, when I was playing with Sunflower, he was hanging back and sniping people, oh. and every time I died, I would pop back to him, nice. and it was like, you know, kept people alive. Yeah, so he carried you. Yeah. He carried me. <laughs> he carried you. He couldn't carry the ring. But he could, no. Right. Um, um, but so, yeah, so um, the things that I don't like, yeah, um, what I would like say the, the, the plot elements that interrupt the game where it's like near the end especially where Corta- well we don't want to well I mean yeah, I don't want to talk about too much but the, the, the woman that keeps popping Cortana, up Cortana yeah Cortana you know it, it becomes more and more frequent towards the end of the game to the point where you're like walking for two minutes and she's like I'm just like this is not skippable and, and you know what my guess is my guess is they're using that time to load yeah <laughs> It could be. It because could it's be. pretty good. There's the very few loading screens. Mm. I mean, once you start a mission, you're you're in that mission, and That's you're just playing and playing and playing. So That's true. I can imagine they did some of that things, and if they did that instead of a loading screen, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm okay with that. That's true. Um, a couple things that I didn't like about it, obviously, is just the standard FPS gameplay. Yeah. Not, not that great. The audience was terrible. The you know? audience. The people that play in multiplayer. They're just, oh, e- yeah, they're just yeah, the evil, people. evil yeah. human beings. Absolutely. Um, not everybody, but just most of the people. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the thing is, like, the, the, the what is it? The campaign was kind of interesting, yeah. but it, I don't think I'll play it again. That was, yeah, you I was going mean? I was, I was to say that. Is, is like, it doesn't have the... I really, uh, I really I enjoyed it. I really, really yes. did. Like, we stayed up till co-op. 5 in the morning, co-op, yeah. I had a fucking blast, and then, like, I played through another couple levels with some people that hadn't played yet, yeah. but I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, this really doesn't have much replay for me, and I replayed yeah. uh, Gears three times. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't do that. Uh, I, mean, I did, but, like, twice. Yeah, but yet again, that was kind of for people where it's like, my buddies hadn't played yet, yeah, and we exactly, went through exactly. it. But would you do that with Halo? If you're having, no, you're I mean, th- this game is not a single-player game. It's like, they're like, they're like here's a campaign. People love it. People, they, some people really love it. Yeah. Because there's the whole metagame aspect where you're going through you're turning on these skulls and you're saying okay I want to get 15,000 yeah. points yeah. there's um, apparently when you play by yourself it becomes more of a puzzly type game because hmm. what you do is you're, you're going into area I and mean, you know how there's snipers those things yeah. that kill you you walk out you die mm. so what you do is you end up spending your time saying okay well I need to use this cover to get over here to get the sniper rifle mm-hmm. to kill this guy do you see what I mean yeah, and, absolutely. They, and they design all the level but the thing is when you're playing four player it doesn't matter. No. Because basically, sniper's killing me, and then you go, oh, and you yeah. just shoot it, right? Exactly. Just you just like, wait for someone to die, and you exactly. go and Exactly. So all down. the puzzle elements are gone. So I'm thinking if I play again, I might play by myself, so well. yeah. or with one other person, yeah. um, and then do that. But you know, I, I won't play the multiplayer yeah. very much, just because like, I hate the people, yeah, it's and just really it's just not fun. So, um, so I mean, the thing is, <sighs> is this is, not, this is not really our thing. Like For what it yes. is, I can tell that it's very good. It's obviously... Dude, it's, it's, it's like... What would you call it? It's like the best deal you're going to get in gaming besides the orange box. Mm. To me. Because here's the thing, right? <clears throat> you get a quality first-person uh, adventure. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a whole, you know, five, ten hours of all this stuff. Yeah. You get a multiplayer experience that's going to last Forever. three to five years. That's like true. Halo People 2. are still playing Halo 2. People are still playing it. So you have that experience where yeah. it's like, okay, you paid 60 bucks. Guess what? You get years of experience. Yeah. You get Forge where you get to basically take all the existing levels and make new ones. That was cool. Isn't that I was, awesome? I was playing with that where yeah, it's like I was, dropping down, I was dropping down all the things where you could levitate on them yeah. and you'd like fly and around. And like I was playing with some new tubers and they're like, oh, hey, check out my custom map. Yeah. And I'm playing. He put basically teleporters everywhere. So you oh, get, nice. And they're all random. Oh, so you nice. go in, I teleport, I drop to the bottom. I'm like, yeah. okay, this isn't very much fun. But yeah. still, you yeah. could actually do that. That's actually kind of cool. That's cool. I mean, like, um, the thing is, is they've been shipping that since Unreal Tournament. Like, Unreal not Tournament on console and not live co-op level yes. building. The fact that I could hop on with several other people yes. and we're just dropping shit in the fucking level exactly. is amazing. I know. It's like, like why? Like that's you know what they did? They brought it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They basically pushed the thing. Each individual element that they did. The other thing, of course, is save films. Mm. Like that's amazing. We're basically it's recording your entire thing. You can just basically pick that's a point, hot. edit it, choose a different camera angle, yeah. upload it, share was, it. I'm like, that was amazing. Holy people crap. have been people have been uploading some hilarious videos. Oh, I know. Of like, Did you see like, the one with hammer? These, yeah. It like uh, basically gets the hammer and he gets the warthog and then he attaches the plasma grenade. Oh no, I didn't see that. Dude, some people have been making it their six. It's like crazy. Oh, so that's cool. do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. like so if you take each one of those individually. Yeah. It's okay. Right. Nothing major. It's okay. You put all that shit together and put in a sixty dollar package. Yeah. How do you compete as if you're a developer? Yeah, I mean they really brought it. They brought all the pieces that people want. Yeah. Um, even though you and I aren't going to replay it all that much. Yes. For what it like, is I like, if, if this is what all, you're looking yeah. for, of that's, course, it, it's, you it's should perfect. Play it. So, um, so that's why it was very interesting for me to see these ratings where people were like, oh, it's ten out of ten, blah blah, and I was like, well, for FPS on console, 
it's the, maybe it is 10 out of it's 10. the current it's the current leader of the pack, right? Right, but I mean, I mean, because I mean, for me as a gamer, I wouldn't mm-hmm. say it's ten out of ten because I'll play other games more. Exactly. But to judge exactly. it within its circle and say for what it is, it's yeah. fucking fantastic. But, but here's the, the way that I look at it: so it's like, okay, I already know there's a couple of games coming out that I'll probably end up playing more, especially in the multiplayer aspect. Mm. So we're talking about Orange Box, which is showing up on 360. So they're mm-hmm. gonna have Portal, Team Fortress, all that stuff. Team Fortress, yeah. And Team Fortress is freaking amazing. The balance and all that, and it's more my style of game that yeah. Halo is. Then you have uh, freaking Call of Duty 4. Mm. And I just, I, I like the, the more realistic aspect of everything. Yeah. And if, when I hit something, I feel it. And yeah. all that. So I'm like, I'm seeing these games, it's like, I think they're better games than Halo. Mm. But, I still, but I still see that Halo is gonna is, is the one to beat, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. um, I have to give it a thumbs up. I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, pretty, a good game. It's a good game. And I'm like, for 60 bucks, I mean, can you do much better? No. Not with all, the, not with all that stuff being tossed in. we bitch in. about prices of games all the time yeah. saying, right? I mean... Yeah. And this one, they're just like, here's a fucking <laughs> butt ton of stuff, plus yes. all this community stuff we tossed in, oh, plus yeah. all these things where it's like, you can actually hop on the Bungie site, see points on the globe of where people are playing That's live. That's so amazing. See, like, top yeah, campaign yeah. games where you're just like, let me check what Yuzo's doing. Yuzo's yep. playing with these three people. His Absolutely. score is this. I mean, Absolutely. it's just like, it's, it's, it's very modern for its data flow. Yeah. It's just like everything about your game is flowing back into the net. And that's what it feels like to me. It's like they, they took the, ex- the, ex- the game mechanics behind Halo, and they didn't do much to them. No. But they spent the past two or three years working on all this other mm. stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Kind of like the, the game behind the game. Yeah, they polished like, the presentation. They did a good job. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's just really it's well done. The framework is, is really nice. Um, unfortunately, the one thing I do want to mention, though, um, bugs during co-op. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, remember how they said they weren't going to do it, and they would? They did do it with a four-player co-op. I yeah. don't think. I think they need to spend a little more time on it. Yeah. The fact that one person <laughs> leaving, one person leaving, yeah. stops the whole fucking game. You remember yeah. how Gears? Someone yeah. comes and leaves. And you just replace them with AI. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, you'd be in the middle of a game, Boom. and they would take over the thing. I'd be playing. Yeah. The I'd be playing. Do. The AI is with me. I'm like, hey, yeah. user, do you want to play? Sure. Replace. Yes. And, and the other like, thing too. Oh, remember like with the spawning? Yeah. Like we'd be on that little like narrow corridor, and then he, only one guy would be left. He but he'd wait to the end. Edge and basically you spawn above nothing. Just like drop. you're basically the wild E coyote going, yeah. and, and then you can just have drop multiple death. times. You're just yeah. like drop, drop, drop. Like three like, times, didn't you? Yeah. So, eh. so they, they definitely had some issues, and there's been discrete issues. Um, I've heard of those where there, a lot of people were reporting discrete issues. So I had it right when we beat Act Eight. Oh yeah, you dropped out. I, I dropped what's out. Going on. And if you go and look at my achievements, yeah. I don't have the achievement for beating Act Eight. But I thought you got you beat Legendary, or did you go back and re- re- rebeat? I it? went back and rebeat it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So ooh, at the end of it too. Yeah. So ooh. there's so there's some messed up stuff out there where it's just like these um, things. They they're definitely. I mean, the thing with Xbox is that they can release patches. Yes. So absolutely. they could actually go back and correct and a lot of these gameplay will, issues. They probably right? I mean, they're going to be selling. It's fucking Halo. You know, like they got it. They got to You know. And they anything. sold 170 million dollars of oh. it. So you know they could pay for a couple of engineers to you know fix yeah, a couple. Yeah. People of things. have been talking about that. They say that the, the, the first day of Halo <sighs> was bigger than any movie's opening day. Yeah. So well, being sixty dollars probably helped. It, out. <laughs> it probably helped, but I mean, you know, in terms of paying attention to media, like movies get so much more attention, oh, absolutely. and there's more money in games these days than mm-hmm. there is in Hollywood. People are spending more money, absolutely. absolutely. And that's only 170 million the first freaking day. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine how many they sold now a week later? I can't even imagine. Oh Jesus Christ! So this is this is huge. I mean, this is the game that a lot of people have been waiting for. So I'm actually curious what the NPD numbers will be yeah. uh, next month because yeah. basically this should be a system seller. Everybody that only played Halo. Two, yeah, still have the Xbox. Right, there's a lot of people. It's like right. I'll get it when Halo yes. Three comes out. It's like we'll see if they did. Exactly. We'll see if they and did. like on Amazon, the Halo Three edition of the Xbox was like number two or three. Nice. Or something. <laughs> yeah. So people are buying it. People are buying it. Yeah. So um, thumbs up. Yes, absolutely. Thumbs up. Goodbye. Uh, next up, Jackass the game. I didn't play this game. I went out and rented this Why bad boy. Did you, oh. Well, like I like I said last week, I, I like Jackass the TV yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do not like Jackass the game. <laughs> what is it? Is it a mini game fest? Just it's, like it's a, a mini game fest, but it's a really poorly made mini game fest where they're just kind of like they'll have this thing where there's two dudes on shopping carts and you just have yeah. to push them towards the edge and you can accelerate and break. And the trick is to get close to the edge without going off. And if you go off, it'll be some funny animation of you nope. like no, you just disappear. And then there's just like then there's that these doesn't things. Doesn't sound very jackassy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And then there's like things where it's like it's kind of like Paperboy, where you're being dragged behind a car down a street, and the, yeah. you just have to knock over like mailboxes and knock over Dude, trash cans. It sounds cans. like a kid could could write that game. Pretty That's the much. thing is, it, it's all very simplistic. It's all very very just. It's kind of like a bunch of. It almost sure. seems like Wii style mini games, where it's like very simple, very yeah. childlike. But the thing is, with the Wii, at least you have the Wii Mo, so you can you know it yeah. feels different, right? Yeah. But if you're using the analog joystick, it's got to feel cheap. And the and the goal is every level the 
they'll have like five things like knock over 50 trash cans, do this, do this, and you just keep playing it over and over and over again until you do it. So this time you hit two dogs, and this time you hit five trash cans. And it's the and same level. So same how, many, level. how many different games are there? There's a lot. There's like 50. I guess that's okay if you're... If any of them were fun. <laughs> but, but you yeah, have so much just... variety of boring. Yes. I mean, what's wrong <laughs> There's with that? There's a lot of variety of boring. <laughs> so the funny wow. thing is, is the cutscenes introducing the skits yeah. are very well made. <laughs> Still have these things where it's like, it's very cinematic. It's very yeah. much like the TV show except with Machinima. Oh, and so they don't actually do uh, real there's life. There's no real life people. So and then be there's, cooler. there's a decent soundtrack. Like they, mm-hmm. they did all the parts of it, and they just didn't develop a very good. So it game. sounds to me like MTV must have said, "Okay, well we'll handle all the middle stuff mm-hmm. and all that. You guys, you some, you know, I don't know, Eastern European developer yes. somewhere is like, hey, you go make the game. Yes. And uh, this is kind of what they so came out with. So I hated it. Budget I, title, huh? I just really didn't. Do you have any idea how much it is? I'm wondering uh, if they're charging forty or fifty bucks for it. God, I don't know. I, I would. I hope not. I would really hope not. I hope it's one of these like 1999. Yes, but, but it wasn't even. We talked about this last week. It's like. What could really sell it would be like boobies yeah. or offensiveness. No, it's not very offensive. There's no any, nudity. Any, any cursing? At not least? any cursing that I saw. Is it rated M? I don't even know. Wow, that's. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, the, it, it's, it's like they just kind but of they, really. They would boobies out really of, have saved it. I mean, you look at tri- B. Was it tri- uh, was boobies it would have saved it if I was 14? Yeah, exactly. Because BMX Triple X had boobies, and that that's didn't true. save. That did it. not save that game yeah. at all. But this game was it. Turd. Oh well, that's too bad, dude. Yes. That is too bad. Well, man, yeah, not really. I wasn't nah. expecting much, anyways. And nah. yeah, it's good because you, you tend to play the games that I won't touch with a ten foot foot. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> you won't. You still won't play Brooktown High, though. No, no, I will not. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, cool intros, I forgot to mention during the skate interview or yeah. skate uh, review that we did, they did a real life intro, like real with pe- with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's good. Yeah. It was like I was like one of the best intros that I've ever seen, and like, I wish more people would do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, spend like, some time. On yeah, the spend intro. some time and do, but do it in like real life. Yeah, you yeah. know, for certain games, it's cool. gonna work really well. But um, yeah, what's next? Next is Hellgate London. Hellgate London. So um, I probably can't talk too much about this. Okay, what is it? What is it? Uh, Hellgate London is uh, made by one of the guys who originally made Diablo. Nice. So he's like, I'm gonna go make Diablo, except set it in London nice. with demons. Okay. Still yeah. demons. Yeah. But it's in like future time. <laughs> future time. Future time. <laughs> Diablo Gate London. <laughs> Diablo Gate London. Um, but, and, and he took a lot of similar <clears throat> ideas. So um, this is stuff you know that's obviously public available. Yeah. But uh, you can go. Um, you are. Uh, uh, you're you're playing as one of these demon killers and stuff like that, and you you go through your standard thing, and it's kind of like an MMO, but kind of not. Okay. Okay. So what you do is you go into these hubs, and there's all these other people around, just like uh, I don't know, you ever play Guild Wars? No. So there, it's like that. When you go to the main gathering areas, and you see people running around named like you know Lard Ass or yeah. you know, just random names, right? And then you go into this like shimmering wall, saying, "Here's the new area," and it's just you. Oh, what? What? Yeah. But can you bring other people if you want? You can, yeah. You can group up okay, and do that. Okay. But, but it, you can't like just have other random people come in. So uh, it's all instance. Okay, so it's all instance. I mean, um, like, instance is the new hotness, right? They do this on all the games now. Exactly. Where but this is, like, not an MMO. I mean, you know what I mean? It's not mm. really an MMO. It's like a Diablo clone. Okay, so it's, it's top-down, no, click, click to it's, attack? No, it's, it's third-person. <clears throat> oh. 3D. Okay. Oh, okay. But it's randomly generated. Hmm. So, but the thing is, <clears throat> if you imagine, randomly generated 3D... Probably doesn't get very interesting. Yeah. So does it? <laughs> and they don't. No. I mean, right, you're basically in London, so you're in tunnels all the time. Yeah. So you're in these subway tunnels, like, woo, subway tunnel, big open area. <laughs> room off of big open area, bigger room off of big open area, tunnel, 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 yeah. tunnel. Right. Yeah. So it's just basically like the, the generated 3D dun- dungeons, except just like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's very simplistic. But the thing is, you know, I don't really notice that much. Because okay. you go around and you're fighting People all these. People have been talking some shit, though. They've been like, this game's, they're like, Hellgate London's going to be awesome. It, feels really good. So, okay. I mean, like, I don't want to talk too much details, but it's just like, I felt like I was having fun. Now, here's a couple of things that you don't like about it. Okay. Number one, when you go into the areas where you're gathering with other people, there's people without question marks over their heads. They're with, without? Wait. With, with question marks yeah, over so their heads. Yeah, so you do quests. So you go click them and they say, oh, go kill 10 zombies in this zone. Yeah. And then you're doing that. But if you imagine, yeah. if you took Diablo, which is that sort of gameplay, and then had yeah. those quests, would it be that bad? No, I mean, I, I did enjoy Diablo. I, yeah. did, I did really enjoy it. And there's a whole it. single player component to this. There's a whole storyline mm. you're going through all these things for. So mm. maybe you might like it. So can you play offline? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, okay. you, oh, so, actually, no, you it, can't. Uh, you can't. So you've got to hop online even if you play by yourself. I think, well, see, I'm on the multiplayer beta, so I'm not uh, sure. It's hard I'm to say. Sure. I'm not sure. say. But, um, yeah, no, the combat feels really good. Everything feels really good. You know, you're shooting. You're doing all these special spells. It's very uh, wowy. There's, you know, yeah, there's the bars, spell lists. Gotcha. You know, the skill trees. <laughs> 
everything's wowy now. Yeah, I know. Well, it, like but every it, fucking it game broke. I play, it's just like it pulls down like the little inventory thing. Yes, and, there's experience, yeah. there's levels, all that stuff. Yeah. But but the cool thing is like it has a very Diablo esque aspect where you're like you're walking around, all of a sudden you see, see like this monster with blue text. Uh, you're like oh, rare. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> kill, kill, kill! And all of a sudden, like when you kill something, it's like and all these like you know ten gold, five gold. Oh no, yeah, yeah, just like Diablo. Yeah, it's and just like, like is there a cow level? Uh, I, I, people, oh. everybody in chat saying, "How do you get to the Cal? Yeah. To, but I don't know. I don't Dude, know. you know there is one. There's you know gotta there's be one. one. There's gotta be one. But um, what's cool is that one thing they did that was really good. I thought is like you don't have to loot people. So you see when they when they die, you see all the scattering stuff. Yeah. And you just hold down the G key, and it's like oh, that's you just nice. suck it all up. Yeah, right? just clicking on that stuff to oh, pick it yeah, up is so it's tedious. Um, so, so here's the question: You gonna yeah. buy it? Yeah, I think I will. Nice. But I don't think I'll pay the monthly fee. So if you pay the monthly fee, you get like more character slots, you get mm. advanced things. That's a things new way of doing add. shit. Exactly, it's new. It's, I haven't heard of that before. Different. So you can you can opt out of the... Yes. Ooh. It's a premium experience. You pay 10 wow. or 15 bucks a month. I don't know how much it is. Interesting. Um, you get the premium experience, which is like additional quest lines, yeah. more characters, because I think you only got four with the, with the other uh. ones. I wonder what happens if you like pay for a while and get some quest items and then stop paying. You probably, yeah, you stop paying, you probably get to keep the stuff, but you can't do new things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. So, I mean, if anything, I'll probably play, and then maybe I'll just do the premium while I'm playing. But the thing is, I'm not going to play this game for months. Yeah, exactly. But then, like, you know, like, oh, maybe, like, you know, a year from now, it's like, hey, dude, want to play some Hellgate? It's like, okay, I'll just pay 20 bucks for a month. Yeah. And then... Shit. Maybe. Yeah. Well, but it looks so, really good. I'm, I'm excited I would, I'd definitely it. like to try the beta, and we yes. can talk about it more. So, um, oh, by the way, um, mad props to um, Killinay. Nice. Yes. Sorry about that. You just got the yes. name. So I got the name. I didn't write it down. I should have wrote down the notes. But Kellen A, you rule. Uh, he basically already was in the beta and then um, hooked you up. Hooked me up because he bought a pre order. So if you pre order the game right now, you get, you in, the can get in the beta. You can get in the beta. Nice. So um, I'll just use mine, but cool. unless you want to buy it. So I would like we'll to check that, that out. I'm excited. It's awesome. Cool. Um, so. Yeah, um, so this next game I, sounds really cool. I don't want to talk about it because it. Is oh uh, all right. So Ninja so Bread Man. It sounds like a really interesting name. Yeah. So are you are you Gingerbread Man? Let me fast forward to when I read up about this game after I played it. <laughs> yeah. Quote about the company: This company in the next year will be producing thirty budget Wii titles. Thirty. Thirty. And now I know how they did it. Th Whoa! So you remember back in the day when you would go and download shareware, yeah, and like ninety yeah, yeah. percent of it was some of the worst shit you've ever seen. Ninety nine percent was it, and then yeah. the other one percent was Doom uh, or, or uh, Commander Keen. <laughs> Commander Keen. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But yeah, so totally. This is fucking Wii shareware. It is just, but, but it's full price, isn't it? Yeah. Like thirty or forty bucks. It, well, at it's least. like yeah, it's like thirty or forty bucks. But it's just it's Wii shareware. It is seriously, they didn't put any thought into any. I mean, like. I have nothing good to say but about what this. What is it? Is it a platformer? It's is a platformer. It platform, but you're a gingerbread ninja. You're a little that's gingerbread ninja, ninja and you're okay. going around. And but here's the thing: is a platformer, right? And you know the platformers. The difficulty is like hopping between flat yeah, platforms yeah. and stuff. No camera control. You jump by doing this. You double oh. jump by doing this. <laughs> So you're sitting there steering with the left thumbstick, <laughs> and you're like trying to hop on the platforms, and you're doing like all this fucking thing, and you're just like you're you're missing. Can, can you imagine like you're playing the game, and your mom's like coming, yeah, coming like, from oh, the, oh, the back, can't get it, jump, jump. <laughs> So it's seriously, so and, you just, and, and you can never align the camera because where you push that yeah. is where you is where you so want. It's just a terrible camera control. Just awful. And so it's oh, like you have to jump sucks. on these four platforms in the air, and you're like, uh, uh, and you like fall, walk all the way around, oh, try back up. Oh boy! And How long did like, you play it before you like? Probably gave ten minutes, <laughs> ten fifteen right minutes. Right back to, to GameFly or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. That's seriously, hilarious. I. I would. This is gonna be on the end of the year list as like oh, worst, worst game? games bad, I've huh? ever played. Yeah, I don't even know what my worst game is this year yet. But. <laughs> 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 I should try it. Yeah. Eesh. So fuck that game right in its little puckered <sighs> anus. Well, you know, thanks for taking one for the team. Man, I appreciate it. I've been every uh, except for Halo Three this week. I've just been like <laughs> swimming in a sea of shit. <laughs> It's, it's like, like you threw me a life preserver, son. <laughs> it's like here's Halo Three. It's like why did you? Yeah, I, uh, just it's weird. like I'm holding on to Halo Three, <laughs> swimming in fecal matter. Fuck well, it. Well, listen, I I took one for the team as well. All right, what so you got? So I played My Sims. What the, what is that? So My Sims is uh, kind of like a is it like MySpace with Sims? No, well it's like Sims, but okay. So here's the kind of backstory. Uh, EA had a developer in uh, Japan mm. uh, that they wanted to you know make Japanified you know big head style yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. So they did SimCity. Okay. Um, and they did this one. They okay. just took the Sims and they made it very, you know, kitty like right? Okay. And then they shut the thing down because they sucked up their <laughs> before they released. So, um, anyhow, so that gives you a little backstory, yeah. right? So, my Sims, what they did was they took Sims and they took Animal Crossing. 
Mm. And they tried to meld it together, mm. but they were so off shape that basically pieces are falling <laughs> off. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I see that little green triangle. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, yeah. So let me fix this again. Go ahead and fix it. All right, we're All right go. so, um, so, you, so you, what I mean is like you see things like, oh, there's a little green triangle that you always see in Sims. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's here. Oh, I'm planting flowers all around town. Ooh, that's like. Ooh, there's a fishmonger. Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, I can buy new things for my place by yeah. using this uh, like you know, Sims, special thing yeah. like Sims. Oh, I gotta do all this work. Uh, <laughs> so I, so, so to be honest, I hated Animal Crossing. That okay. was not my style. Yeah. I absolutely hated it. And this one is like a. Bad version of, mm. of Animal Crossing. Dude, all the so Sims bad. has become as porn now anyway. If you Why look what? at the expansion packs for Sims, porn? All it, yeah, all it is now is just like Sims going on a date. Sims, you know, <laughs> Sims try anal. This is like <laughs> Sims best and M. <laughs> Sims paid date. <laughs> Sims key party. <laughs> Sims learning <lemon> party. <laughs> So seriously, if you look at the Sims expansion packs now, that's all it is. And like you see it advertised on TV, yeah. and they're like, "Go to a club, give a girl some roofies," and like, "Make it, make it, make it." You know, it's just frat. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, but, they've, they've realized their market is like people just sit at home and do these little fucking depressing sim dating shit. But like, I thought like the big market for that was women. I didn't think they'd be. Yeah. Interested. It's like, oh look, he brought me flowers. I can't. <laughs> look, 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 it's a husband that didn't leave me. <laughs> 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 oh man, this is uh, just a mine, mine yeah. of comedy. Yeah, this is bad. Um, yeah, so, but but seriously, that's what Sims has become. So I think that this is like going backwards towards like Sims plus children. Yeah, and it's just it a little, well, but that's the thing. They didn't even put any of the sex stuff in there. It's like, like Sims pedophilia. Like, we don't want that. We don't want to play that game. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, inappropriate. <laughs> you did Sims Eleven for me. <laughs> Nobody watching knows what that is, right? Thirteen-year-olds, <laughs> don't Google that. Don't Google. Don't that. Oh, All right, so um, so my sins are, are just terrible, really bad. I hate the game. Uh, we took one for the team. Yeah. Oh, how's how's right. the week, huh? How's the yeah. week? So we should relatively Ooh. quickly go through the new releases. Um, so yes. Inventory is Quake Wars. Oh, We've yes. talked about this We've before. We've talked about this a lot, but it comes out today. So oh. on the way home, if we get done soon enough, I'm going to hit fries and nice. go try to pick this up. Actually, um, hey, Target or Walmart. Target City, right? any of those places. Yeah, so I'm going to go hit those up and try to pick it. But I've been talking about this like crazy. Yeah, he loves it. It is out, and we'll give you a full review next week. Yep, and then uh, also coming out is Crash of the Titans. Yeah, just, you didn't like uh, Crash Bandicoot that I much, didn't like right? any of the Crash Bandicoot games. I liked the first games. two a lot. Did you? Did well, because I had a PS1, yeah. and it was like the main platformer. Right? Yeah. This was way before Ratchet came out, way before Jack and Dexter. Uh, like, see, way my first PlayStation was the PlayStation 2. So I kind oh, of really? I kind of only played the later crashes. See, yeah, there you go. Because the thing is, they took the crash formula mm -hmm. and then just did the exact same thing all mm -hmm. the way through. So, like, I mean, on, remember we were talking about it before? It's like the realm of these platformers. Yeah. It's like, okay, you got, you got Ratchet. Crash. Oh, Crash, rather. Crash. crash here. Um, then you get, what, Jack uh, and Dexter? Maybe Jack and Dexter. Then you get Sly, Sly Cooper, Cooper. And you get Ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it, it is really on the bottom of the barrel. Spyro's now. down here now. Spyro's Spyro, Spyro, Spyro used ground. to be, like, the early Spyro's used to be really fun, and then it's just, like, the last two or three well, were once, terrible. Well, once, uh, what is it, Insomniac gave up the license. Yeah. Turd, uh, and then somebody turd. else just basically raped it. So anyway, but, um, um, I this love. Looks cooler. I love adventure games. We were checking out the videos That's before right. the gameplay videos. They made it wider. It they made like. it. It's because before crashes were very uh, claustrophobic yeah, for me. Yeah, it was like you were really right wide. on his back. Yeah, and it's, now like, they, it's basically a quarter game. That's what yeah. you were playing, right? Yeah. This one's like it looks like you can go left and right a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah. I'm kind of. Which one are you going to play? The Wii or 360? I will play the 360 for the because I'm an achievement horse. Yes, and you're a platform horse. So I have now cracked eleven thousand. Points. Yeah, how many of that is uh, right, 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 right. Pixar games? Doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll try it. Yeah, me too. I think I'll give this a try. And next one up is Project Gotham Racing. <laughs> I think that you're trying this, aren't you? Yes. Why is that? I'm so excited for Project Gotham Racing 4. Oh, but you don't really like racing games. No, I hate racing games. Yeah, well, so why do you want to play? Geometry Wars. <laughs> yeah, they're so shipping it with a new Geometry it. Wars. That's right, Geometry Wars Wii. Yeah. So you know anything I, about it? Yeah, I played it. Um, so it's, it's just basically the original, like, just like the original Geometry Wars, uh -huh. except you don't have any lives. You only have one life, mm. and uh, the thing's coming in waves, hardcore. and it's like a different pattern. Okay. So okay. I'm I'm gonna rent it. And sure. I'm gonna play it, but I'm not gonna play it like I was playing the original ones because my my money now is on Gem Wars Galaxies. Yeah. For the Wii. You'd know be cool if you could rent this game and then have the you keep keep <laughs> keep the game on your hard Maybe drive. Maybe just cut out little bits of the CD <laughs> and say, okay, here we go. Where's the copy function? That's right. <laughs> 
That would be we awesome. Did, it would be fucking badass. Uh, so uh, you're going to play that just for that. Project Gotham Racing, we could give a shit. Yes, I'm going to pay $8 to rent Project Gotham <laughs> Racing. Just for Geometry Wars. Just for Wars. Geometry Wars, yes. yes. Oh, okay, oh. so that is that. But moving on to something awesome. Awesome? What's awesome? Um, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Oh, yeah. We have so not you, played a new Zelda no, did you since pick it up the Wii. I think I picked it up. Uh, I'm going to pick it up. I so. picked it up? Yeah. I cool. picked it up today. I uh, have not got to play it too much. I no. played a little, like, five minutes. It, but yeah, we played you, the demo. Oh, did you play the demo? No, you played the demo. I played the demo. So the demo is the first level. Yeah. So when you're on the first island, you go all the way up to before you you take the ship. Okay. That's the understanding. Cool. So um, it's feeling pretty good. I, I you know like the map aspect looks really good. I yeah. think it'll be a long title, and it's gone like you know, nines and tens. The only thing I'm gonna have to figure out, I can tell from my five minutes of playing so far, is I'm gonna have to learn how to hold my hand. Because when I'm drawing it, when I want him to walk left. Your hand goes right in front of like you like you're, you're gonna have to do some sort of weird gymnastics. Are you sure where it's not because you have a fat? What's that doing? <laughs> your the screen's left, still a screen. Your left hand is weak. I, it does get tired. <laughs> I may have to do some left hand exercises. <laughs> So, okay, so we're going to play that, that, and we'll talk about it next week. I'm excited. There's actually some good stuff. You touch to move. The whole thing yes, is stylus. Everything. There's like literally no buttons at all. Um, the only thing you can do the, the, with the cross pad to make the map come up and down gotcha. and some other stuff. I, I, I don't think you can use the uh, things yet. At least I haven't okay. figured it out. So. Okay. Um, all right, so that's last it. Uh, last one up is Spider-Man oh. Friend or Foe. So speaking of like these budget games like Ninja Bread Man, yeah. I played this game and I was like, my god, I can't believe they're actually releasing a disc-based version of it. Because <laughs> it feels so cheap. It feels like, a, like, like an Xbox Arcade? Like it should have been. Even that. <laughs> like, remember, like, some of those cheaper games, like, what was it, Assault Heroes and some of the other ones? This yeah, yeah. a little janky, right? Yeah. This one's, like, half as, as polished. It's so a fucking you were telling me, game. You were telling me that it was shitty, so we went and checked out some of the gameplay videos, and they are editing the motherfucker out of this yeah. thing. Where they're just, like, they're, like, it's, like, all cut scenes, and there'll be, like, half a second of gameplay where he's, like, jumps, he's and then it like, goes back yeah. to cut scenes. Or, like, he does a super move, and yeah. it's just, like, two seconds. Like, it's, like, play it. They it's... very purposefully are not putting any gameplay out there, which is never a good sign. Yeah, when, whenever they do the trailers, whoever did that trailer, he did a freaking good job with that man. It looks really good. Um, so, so I played the demo on Xbox Live Arcade, uh, Xbox Live rather, yeah. and it's basically like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Do you remember that? Like yeah, the yeah, top yeah. down, a little gauntlety. Yeah. But it's that, except it's with uh, Spider Man. But you know what pisses me off about this? What's that? It's Spider Man and Friends. Oh. Uh, so you go and play, and basically on your team, yeah. you have you get to have a partner. Yeah. You get to use Venom, mm. Green Goblin, Sandman as, as your friend. That's you're, weird. You're fighting alongside them. So apparently the the developers didn't know the answer to the question, friend or foe. It's like <laughs> it's a friend or Green or Goblin, <laughs> foe. <laughs> go back to fucking comic school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like they're like, oh, we got the license. Let's yeah, just do something wacky with it. Um, so so yeah, it's it's just dumb. It's really the 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 the, the, the gameplay reminds yeah. me of like. You know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles era mm. style of so like. We probably won't be reviewing this guy. Uh, I reviewed it. That's it. Okay, <laughs> done. Done. Turd. Turd. Okay. That is it. So that is all new releases. Uh, community. So next week looks good. Yeah. Next uh, week looks good. There's like two, yeah. three. Yeah. Well, I mean, Zelda. I'll be playing the shit. Enemy territories for me. And Crash, so, I will be playing. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, good. That'd be cool if it was good. Yeah. I think it comes out tomorrow. So, uh, what cool. do we have? Um, side news. Side news. So, book club. Where's that book? Oh, shit. Oh, it's over there. Oh, uh, sh- what? Oh, right. Oh, okay. yes. So, so the book club the is. Book club. This is week two of the book club. The ultimate history of video games. I'll put up a picture like I did last week. Yep. Oh, um, what? The, the binding isn't. Um, it's uh, still not cracked not, yet. Uh, oh. uh, 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 I need to. I need to get cracking. I need to get cracking. I've been. I was. I was. The halo fucking wore me out. That's right. But so you have. You guys have one week. One more week. And uh, then next we're week we're gonna have it. some discussion of this of the book. Absolutely. So uh, get your hands on if you can. It's an amazing history book. We've already gone about it, but we'll go over it next. Week. Yep, and come on the forums and discuss it. So um, next, <laughs> next oh, up, this is weird. Do we get called out? I think we, we get called out. Well, we called him. Oh, out. We called him out. So That's Kashi right. was just like, "Hey, I <laughs> fucking nailed a- Kashi, Kashi Rich." <laughs> yeah, he was just like, he's like, "I nailed my GBA the wall." We're like, "Bitch, you did no such thing." Yeah, whatever. Turns out he did. He did. Oh, Photographic yeah. evidence here. Yeah, you should write down the time. Too. Yeah, so he <laughs> um, fucking, he brought it. So it's an old original GBA. It's the one with a really, really crappy um, background screen. Because I remember I bought it and I was so unhappy. Yeah. So do you remember those? The G- G- original GBA no, Advance? I never had one. It was so, it's like basically you try to play it and like you would have to go under a halogen oh, lamp to sucks. be able to see it because yeah. the backlight was so bad. So yeah. it's one of those era ones. It's like the little cross X is gone. Yeah. It's just, oh. So, but he fucking thrashed it. He ripped out the control. He nails the wall. We called him out. He fucking smacked us down with his penis. That's and right. Um, we we I'm acquiesce. Little, I'm a little scared. Yeah, we're a little scared, and we're glad you don't know where we live, especially when we review games that you like. Yes. Um, uh, review game badly, yes. Yes. So, uh, uh, next up is one. Veritas. My God, that guy is a fucking machine. Yeah. October 1st, 2.32 p.m., six days after six launch. Days. 
thousand points in Halo 3. He won the Iron Gamer Challenge, the Halo 3. I, dude, like, now, remember how before, like, other Gamer Challenge, Iron Gamer Challenges, people still haven't got a full thousand yeah. points in? They would go. They would be like, yeah. we would actually talk about them on the show. We're yeah, like, we'd be like oh, yeah, you. I'm beating you, you're beating yeah. me, somebody's winning. It's like, now we're just like, Iron Gamer Challenge, people are like, like, yeah, done. done. I didn't sleep for five fucking days. <laughs> Red Bull is in my veins. My eyes are being held open with paper clips. That, and and my like, guys, yeah, <laughs> you have to play like 40 hours of multiplayer at least, at least to at least. get that kind of achievement. And you have to get all those points, the campaign points with all the skulls. Yeah. So well done. Skulls. Yeah, well so Veritas, done. you are a machine and you, uh, you're you good at Halo. Congratulations. <laughs> you are. Um, my God, but God, we need to have people like hold off. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let us play. I, I got like 700. I yeah, thought I that was okay, but I'm like, um, yeah. Because the last 300, I'll never get. Never get them. Never get. So, okay, listen to uh, homework. Yeah, so we got a listener homework. Minor annoyances in games you wish mm, you could stop. Dude, let's see. The list goes on. That is that is tough. I mean, That's like, we've tough. got... We've got th- well... <laughs> Let's just go on. Let's go on. So, Come I mean, on. I, got, I got unskippable cutscenes. Random battles. Random battles. Uh, Poorly placed save points. Poorly placed. Or, no, yeah, or, yeah, like, or no, the inability to save, yes, exactly. Yes, inability to save. Um, uh, long load times. Yeah, terribly long. Hey, Heavenly Sword load times. Yeah. But, um, so, so we got this, we got this forum topic yeah. for you to go on and list the minor annoyances that you wish you'd stop. I would like to say that the beginning of Halo has a five-minute unskippable cutscene. Really? Yes. See, I never did that. So, yes. I mean, because I started in Chapter 4. Yeah. So. so when you play, every other sc- cutscene is skippable, this one is not. Interesting. So that was stupid. Fuck you. Yes. Um, um, other, no, like, lately? Anything good lately? Mm, no. I think I think overcharging for budget games. Yes, I think that's, that's, a, that's a, a good one. one. For me. That's a really good one. Like, like uh, frankly, like I don't want to spend twenty or thirty on something shitty. Yeah, I'll spend oh. five or ten. No beta, no no demos of games. No demos of games. Mm, We've been spoiled. Are. We've yeah, been spoiled. Now. We have been spoiled. Um, yeah. So, so anyhow, go to the forums and on the forums. Um, uh, tell us what we missed. I'm sure there's other ones. There's at least two or three pages already on the forums. Yeah, people um, just go crazy on this. And the retro gaming club is Unreal Championship Two. Good on game. The Xbox. Uh, I, you know, I never played it. Oh, I played it on, on PC. Tournament <coughs> on the PC, Two. yeah. I played it on the PC, but yeah. not, not the Leandre Comfort or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so, we're going to have to have another vote pretty soon for our new ones. Yeah, yeah. So uh, hop on, play some Unreal Tournament 2, and uh, talk about it on the forums. It's a fun game. Absolutely. So now we get some voicemail action. That's right. Jam and Slavers up first. We haven't heard from you for a while. Yeah. Hey, no YouTube, it's German Slaver. Uh, I've recently moved into a new flat, which explains my lack of video this week, and I've got a, a new housemate, and he's really not a gamer at all. Now, to illustrate this, uh, a couple of days ago I was playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for the GameCube. Um, he comes into the room, and you know, hears the, the noises that Mario makes, and goes, oh, I recognise that, that's Super Mario, isn't it? I said, yeah. And he said, good lord, he's made the jump into 3D. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that happened like <laughs> ten years ago. And, you know, and just in case people don't know, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, it's not really that 3D. It's all based in 2D sprites. And it's just a sort of a very, very basic linear 3D world. It's no, not exactly Super Mario 64. So my question is, has some, you know, someone ever said something to you which has made you realize, wow, people just, some people really don't know anything about gaming? Okay, this is German Slaver. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome story. Um... Wow, like Super Mario, huh? Did, did, did Thousand Year Door have the flip 3D, 2 to 3D to 2D flip? The, yes. The mechanic? Yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> Mario 64 is like 15 years old or 10 years it old. It's 90 fucking. F- six. Okay, so it's 11 years old. Yeah. So it is old, so really if you haven't paid attention old. to Mario for that long. So that's kind of like when I showed my mom the Wii, yeah. she hadn't played a video game since Game Boy Tetris. Literally, crap, when she broke your tummy. When she broke my fucking... <laughs> actually, that's, that, she broke, yeah, she broke my TI-99. Yeah, nice. But she hadn't played anything since Tetris. Wow. So we were playing bowling, and she was blown away. She was by, just by like... By graphics? By the Wii graphics? By the Wii... I mean, <laughs> compared to fucking... Did you show her Bioshock or something? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see something good in yeah, this game. Yeah, she would have cried. Yeah, or like... That would have been hilarious. Yeah. But, um, but I mean, she, you know, like, and we brought her neighbors over, and yeah. there's like a bunch of old people being like shitting their pants they over love games. The Wii, They're man. playing tennis. They're yeah, just yeah, like they changes their depends and everything. Yeah, that's right. It's just like big box of depends by the door. <laughs> so I mean, like, have you had any people where they just really so, out of touch with games? Here's the thing. You know the hilarious thing? Every single time I go into GameStop, yeah, 
They don't know fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear, the things I hear, like, not only do not like just... from the, employees? Both. Oh. So employees, like, half the time. Every once in a while, you get some good employees out there. I know you're out there. I know yeah. you're listening. But All three of you. Three of you. But sometimes they just say shit, just, you know, like the rumor stuff, right? Yeah. That's just like, obviously isn't going to happen, right? Yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, I hear Halo's going to come out on DS. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay, there's a rumor of that. It's been like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of shit. But then I hear these guys that they talk about, just like, you know, like the, the, sta- the, the salt of the earth yeah. that buys the Maddens and all that and just hearing them like talk to games with each other is so fascinating but I also want to punch them yeah. too. I'm just like, you're just like, you're just like, you're like excuse me you have no idea how wrong you are about everything you just said <laughs> oh, I was like I saw somebody like, he was pointing out Oblivion some guy and yeah. like, I'm like yeah it's, like, it's pretty good it's like yeah yeah but I'm playing two swords right now and oh, I love that game so much better and I'm like you see dude that kind of shit I'm like I'm like you play two swords yeah. or two worlds rather not two yeah. swords what do you do? It was like the yeah. It's just like yeah, how do you argue with someone who's saying that the worst game ever is decent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So I've, I've had that. I, I forget. I can't remember the game I title. Yeah. But I was at a GameStop and there was this guy talking to a mom about buying games, and he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, you don't want to get that? There's nudity in it, and I knew for a fact that I'd beaten it. And there was he was yeah. like fucking innocent. It was like beyond good it wasn't evil like or something. Of or something like that, yeah. there's nudity in but there. But yeah. how do you argue that? Like I came up and was like, I, I, I did say something. I was like, yeah. there's no nudity in there. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, there's this one special level where he like was talking shit. I was like, all right, I give up. Up. Yeah. You're what are you going to do? What are yeah. you going to do, right? Because that's the thing. They don't hire these people necessarily on their gamer knowledge or no. any of that stuff. So um, if you just want your you know, gamer knowledge, come to NoobTube. Yes. Talk with the NoobTube forums. Everybody there is kind of scarier than us. Yeah, they're all very smart. Yes. Um, next up is Ronin. Yeah. Hey, guys. Ronin from Australia. I was just wondering, there is a rumor that Bully is being pulled to the 360. Will you guys be buying it and play it again for the achievements? Also, there's a game, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe. I want you to watch a video of it and tell me what you think of it. Just keep in mind, it's a full price game. And what do you think about the new game Godzilla coming out? It could be kind of cool on the Wii. Well, thanks anyway. Love the show. Yow! Nice. Ronan. Ronan. So, uh, first up, Bully on 360. I didn't finish Bully. I didn't either. But, I, but with achievement. I probably would. But wait, you know, okay, so somebody, you guys should go out there and listen to our Bully review, because I think I recall saying, I would have finished this game in achievement. <laughs> <laughs> See, the funny thing is, is I never got sick of it. It's just that I we just had kinda, more games coming. Yeah, I just kind of got, t- like, I, it was cool, but it didn't it didn't have something that keep me dragging it along, you yeah. know what I mean? But it was all fun. It was very fun. It but was really well done. Achievements would have done it for oh, me. Oh my god, it totally would have done I, it. I could have sworn I said it, so somebody yeah. should take go a back, clip. <laughs> go back and get the clip of us being um, little bitches. And then about, when it does come out, I will play it again, because yeah. with achievement, and Do, it's going to look so much you heard better. anything if that's true or not? I heard rumors. Nice. I've heard rumors on the internet. That would be very cool. Yes. Uh, Spider-Man Friend or Foe, we talked about the mm. assiness of the mm. graphics. I like that he was just like, do you know this is a full price <laughs> game? <laughs> That's the first thing I thought when I was playing this. I'm like, oh my god, they charge 50 bucks for this you game? You want to go to developers like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? That's all you gotta say. Is that really? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so Godzilla. I don't know. Dude, anything I have about not this. played a single good Godzilla game mm. ever. Mm. Um, the movie was terrible. Mm. Um, Godzilla 2000. Yeah. yeah. You know, the only Godzilla ish game that I remember playing that I like was King of the Monsters on Neo Geo. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like basically a wrestling game except it had a Godzilla style character, a big robot. I, I've you, heard of it. I haven't played it. Yeah, yeah it's fun. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, but that's like the only style. But anything, Rampage had Godzilla. Oh, Rampage was Rampage good. was good in arcades, but you know, do you ever play the re-releases? No. Terrible. Get bad. They're just not. It's not fun. The gameplay doesn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if, if you're not paying for it, it's <laughs> like continue, continue, continue. Yes, if you're trying to avoid not spending quarters, just like Gauntlet. Yeah. That's how it feels, right? Yeah, it's, it's just like whatever. But, um, lame. Yeah, Godzilla. Eh. Eh. Yeah, well, well, I mean, we'll we'll keep our eyes open. I haven't heard anything about it, it but once it shows cher- up on the new releases, we'll be talking yes, about it. It's not a cherished franchise. No, it's an assy franchise. <laughs> Next one up is Red Stapler. Hey, it's Red Saber here again, also known as uh, Barf Boy on the controller. Uh, this one's regarding Halo 3. I've pretty much been seeding the game, and I managed to get a thousand gamer points. Yeah, I know, I have no life. But anyway, so I unlocked every type of armor, and I'm just telling everyone out there that it's definitely worth it. The security slash marathon helmet looks like there's a giant poo turd on your face, but you unlock this thing called katana armor, and it's basically the new samurai armor, and you have a katana on your back. So if anyone has any questions or how to get stuff, uh, or even like the noob tube guys, if you guys need questions on how to unlock stuff, my gamer tag is R3D space stapler. That's from Office Space, like the red stapler. Anyways, thanks a lot. Uh, love your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that Wait, looks what? like that was natural. It wasn't like post processed. So. Did he just say it looks like a giant poo turd? I guess on so. Your head? I have not seen it. I have not unlocked it's a poo any poo turd. Poo turd. Are there other poo-turd. types of turds? 
I believe there's poo turds <laughs> and uh, less poo turds. I don't know. Uh, cat turds. I don't know. Yeah. So here's the thing. When did you get a thousand points? Yeah. Did you, uh, if, did you win the IGC? Did you participate in the IGC? I don't think you did. You so, should go to the forums. We gotta go. Yeah. I mean, go check out the wiki. We got the we got the IGC. Fucking. You gotta be. If you're getting a thousand well, points, and, you should be going head to head it too. Because that's the thing. If you look at the the date of the last achievement that you got. Yeah. If that's before October first, then Ooh, you, you may won. have won the IGC. So, so Veritas, so, watch your back. Yeah. Veritas, you um, never what was know. The other thing you said. Uh, uh, help with the oh, three. He, yeah. Oh, the, so I heard that the katana armor was also called the Hayabusa armor. Mm. After after, uh, what is it, Ryu Hayabusa? From, yeah. From, uh, was it, uh, which one, Ninja Gaiden? Ninja Gaiden, yeah. So, um, apparently they have some sort of relationship, because in the Dead or Alive, which was also done by Team Ninja, mm. there was a female Spartan. Oh. Uh, so, oh, right, I there, was that, something about this. there was that mig, yeah, yeah. I read one forum post where someone was just like, why did, in the credits, Halo said thanks to yeah. Team Ninja? They, they're like buddies, or they're, I don't know. I yeah, mean, I don't know if they were just like things. bringing them Mountain Dew in the middle of the night, like, fucking finish coding it's it. Or, yeah, so that's pretty so, cool. Yeah, I think they respect each other. You know, they do they do a lot of stuff together, but then they do this swap thing. Yeah, so. I like crossovers. That's cool. Like, little yes. references to other games are nice. Yeah, did you hey, did you find the uh, monkey guys in Halo 3? No. Yeah, so if you in the first level, in the jungle level, a critic was showing it to me, so we were walking around. I was like, hey, have you seen the monkey guys with the teddy bear? I'm like, what the fuck? So you go up, like, the wall somewhere, you look in the corner, and there's these weird little monkeys with human faces and one's holding a teddy bear. It's just what a, it's the Easter egg. fuck? That's weird. Yeah. Oh, did, you see, did you see the dialogue at the door when the dude's trying to get in the door? Huh. So apparently people are saying that they hired the red versus blue guys. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I heard about that. I, I, I came around this corner so you're, you're actually supposed to go in a door way back here. So you yeah. come around this corner there's a locked door and there's a guy like, come on, hey, come on, let me in. I, 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 I don't, and he's like, and then the guy's like, what's the password? And he's like, well, I don't have the password. And he's like, well, Master Chief's out here. And he's like, well, does he have the password? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like apparently the like, like there's this That's whole, awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't listen very long because yeah. I was with a bunch of other people playing co-op. Is it, is it like a line by line from one of the episodes, or did they just made it up? I don't know. I think they might have hired them to write some dialogue for it. But it's a nice little <gasps> Easter awesome. egg where it's like these guys just bang the door, yeah. like please let me in. So that was pretty funny. That's yeah, pretty cool. I like it. I mean, yeah. I think they do some cool stuff with it. So um, Red Sleeper, go ask him for help or check game facts. Yes, yes. And uh, next up is a video from HP seventeen oh three. Whoa, he has a big world. Hey guys, HP seventeen oh three from the forums. As I was standing in line at midnight waiting for my copy of Halo 3, I got the Lunchbox Edition. <laughs> I was wondering what the next game that's going to get a, a special midnight release is going to be. Some, some game that's going to have all the stores open at midnight just to sell the game, like Halo 3 did. Um, excluding the Madden franchise, because that happens every year. So what do you guys think the next game that's going to get a special midnight release is? Uh, Call of Duty 4, God of War 3, Gears of War 2, uh, Final Fantasy 13, Mario Galaxy. W what do you guys think is the next big game? Also, do you think a game has to be a franchise to get that kind of release? Or do you think a game like Uncharted or Assassin's Creed could get a midnight release? That's my question. Yow. Nice. Nice. Um, he looks a little bit like Steve Jobs. <laughs> a little, little bit. bit. Little, there was a turtleneck? Probably the black turtleneck. Turtle turtle um, so, uh, you know, the thing is with these sorts of midnight releases, they only do that to the games that sell. Yeah. So I would say my bet is the next really, really, really big one. Yeah. Uh, Mario Universe. Yeah, because I don't think they'll do it for Ratchet. I don't think they'll do it for Assassin's Ratchet's Creed. Not, Ratchet's not big enough. No. And Ma even Mario? Do you remember midnight launches for any of the other Mario series? I, I do don't. not. I do not, You see actually. what I mean? Yeah. It's like, they'll do it for Madden. They'll do it for, for, for big sequels, big yeah. franchises. But new games? Well, but here's the thing. Are these always coordinated by the, the companies, or are they coordinated by the sellers, right? Because that big, mm. that big midnight launch question. we went to for the Wii, yeah. that wasn't like Nintendo saying, come to the midnight launch. That was like Toys R Us yeah, and yeah, all these yeah, other exactly. guys. So, I mean, like, they kind of decide it, right? These retailers kind of yeah. decide it. But then, remember, like, Crackdown, it's just like, okay, well... Yeah, yeah we should have been a fucking Walmart. And it was a midnight launch, but... Walmart was open in midnight, so and they hadn't like, even heard of it. Like we walked exactly. in, like can we get cracked down? Like what the like, fuck no. is cracked down? And they had to go in the back, right? So yeah. the thing is, like anything as far as like when you're going to be spending a lot of money and all that, GameStop is only and all those people are only going to do it for like huge, huge games, yeah. like one hundred seventy million dollars in the first day games. Yeah. Me Maybe Rock Band? Do you think they'll do it for Ooh, Rock Band? Oh, maybe Rock or Band. Or Guitar Hero 3? Yeah, one of the two? yeah, I can see that. I can see Dude, that. Dude, fuck! Did you hear what they did with Rock Band? No. They're going to sell it on Black Friday, so the day after Thanksgiving. Ooh. So uh, number one, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be two, near I'm not my going to a fucking store. Are you kidding me? I know. No way. But, but are you? Well, how are you going to get, get it? 
<laughs> you see what I mean? I'm just saying, Black Friday, I will not step in a store. I hate people. That's what I'm saying. I fucking hate people. But the thing about it, like, people are going to be going there early to all the different places. Maybe, to maybe get midnight those. of Black Friday. How about that? But if they do a, a midnight launch, I don't yeah. know if they will. So, I'll, go, I'll, go to that, I'll go to that Walmart. Check it out. I'll check are it you out. Are you serious? Yeah. On th- are you going to be here Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, actually, okay, gonna make cool. thing. Okay, good. Well, let me know. May get two copies yeah. if you can, because uh, I'm going to be done. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the other thing I would say, Microsoft would probably do it for Gears of War 2. Um, oh, whenever, yeah, that's whenever later. That yeah, that's wait, and, uh, and maybe God of War 3, but I'm not sure how well that's. They didn't sold. do it for God of War 2, yeah, so, so did they? Mm, I don't man. remember. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, G-Money. G-Money. What, what? Hey, new Poop, this is G-Money. Uh, I just wanted to say that I heard somewhere on a website, I don't know where, but I heard that Sony is actually coming out with a 40 gigabyte PlayStation 3 that'll be $400. And I just wanted to ask you guys what you thought about this because I know you got. I'm pretty sure you, did, you guys didn't like the idea of making an 80 gigabyte version, and but then stop selling the 60 and the 20 gigabyte versions. And I think actually the 40 gigabyte is going to come with Spider-Man 3. Yeah. I don't want that, but, uh, yeah, come out with think. Yeah! All right. So this is, like, very topical. The, the, apparently, like, four different retailers mm. have already leaked out different, you know, either documents, photos, or mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. which show a 40-gig PS3 for $400. Nice. Um, I'm a little annoyed because I paid $500 for my 60. Yeah, so um, I would say... If you could give me a 10 gigabyte PlayStation 3 for, for like 300. Yeah, but you know the hard drive. Who gives a shit about, about the hard drive? Like you're, you know, like 100 gigs cost nothing. Or yeah. sorry, 10 gigs. So would you actually want a PS3 with no hard drive if you could get it cheaper? Sure. If I could, well, I mean, how do you put a hard drive? I mean, you're going to have to have a hard drive. So I mean, like if I could no, buy no. an external. So you can. You can upgrade your uh, PS3 hard drive. Oh, well, please replace it. Give me a play, yeah, give me a PlayStation with no hard drive. This whole, this whole focus on storage drives me crazy. Well, they're doing it because of all the media, right? They want to be the hub of the entertainment center. Yeah. They want to do digital downloads. But I don't want you to be the hub of my entertainment center. You know, it's just like. Force, they want to say, oh, well, you got it anyways. Yeah, exactly. So why not use it? So, so $100 um, for 10 gigs. Fuck you. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, $400, it's starting to get in the range. Yeah. Sony has to do this shit because yeah. you know what they were saying that's, that's Xbox pricing yeah exactly right it's, it's getting there and so it's like okay 350 300 would be even better but whatever 400 yeah. you're getting into the point where you actually might sell some this holiday season yeah they gotta Sony do they gotta to do, do, do before Christmas and you know what people are saying like before this it's like they're on track to sell as many as the GameCube did and it's same period of time. <laughs> GameCube did not do very well. Oh, uh, yeah. And we like, you know, we like Sony. We like, you know, yep. we want it to do well because we're going to be playing Ratchet. We're going to be playing Uncharted. You got to cut games. the price. You got to cut the price. Uh, we're make better <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah. Next year. Next year is the year of the PS3. That's my. That's my. My prediction. Metal no right. Gear Solid. Yeah. Final Fantasy. No, no, 13? I agree with you. It's, I agree with it, you. It's just that this there. Christmas is going to hurt them if they don't get their fucking this shit in gear. Two fucking games that I'm interested in. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's sad. And I'm We've already shoot. got the PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. So If you want to sell it, man. All right, and next up is NoobTube Wannabe. <laughs> it's an interesting handle. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, it's NoobTube Wannabe. And um, I previously sent it a message, but this is a better one. I, uh, I bought you guys a shirt, Achievement Unlocked, and it is awesome. So I just want to say that. Yeah. Nice. nice. Where's the picture? Yeah. So, <clears throat> like we've been asking, you guys are all sending in a shitload of voicemails. People aren't sending in pictures. Want pictures of you guys hanging up your posters. Absolutely. Hanging up or, or uh, wearing your t-shirts. Yeah. Holding up your fucking mouse pad like that one dude. That was it's awesome. Like, hey, have you opened it yet? That's what I yeah, want to Yeah, he's like, I don't want to open it. That's awesome. <laughs> so. All right. So that is it, I think, for this show. Yeah, My that's all. God. Um, all right. 61. Yep. Uh, Go and go. This is actually, it's you. Okay, uh, alright, that's our show for the week. Please check out our website at noobtube.com and participate pay, pay, pay on our forums at the top of the page if you're watching on our front page. Also, please call to our toll free voicemail at 888 233 8480 or if you're overseas, send an audio or video voicemail to feedback at noobtube.com and be featured on the show. Hell yeah, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, like most of you are, there's a subscription button right here. Also, please rate the video with five stars by touching my chunk. <laughs> we also have a rapidly growing Facebook group yeah. called NoobTube Listeners. 150 now, I think. 150. So just go to uh, Facebook, search for NoobTube, done and done. Oh, That's yeah. all for this episode. I am Tobin Kozire. I am Yuzo Watanabe. Your audio engineering is done by a range. Mixy, mixy, mix. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>